Hello again. Here I'm going to start with um, the continuation of part two, where I uh, showed you how I work when I transcribe a piece to an other kind of instrument uh, section. So instru or instrument ensemble, I should say. So uh, we finished with the piece the way it is right now here, and everything is done. So the only thing what is left now to do after t transcribing is uh, bouncing it out of exporting it to a MIDI file. But before I do that I'm going to check in the mixer um, if this if the instruments are really assigned correctly and even when you see them here it doesn't mean that you have assigned them correctly. Sometimes it's better, especially after doing a MIDI an instrument change, to do a kind of reset on the mixer and you do it by clicking inside this little menu here and choose automatic for every instrument and now it says is it, it's assigned correctly for sure so it's always good to, to do this to be safe now um, the volume slider I set for every instrument to the maximum and to the master volume as well completely high and I pan the instruments left and right about minus f and plus 50 so you have some kind of a dual on stage idea well this is ready ready to go. So the only thing... Oh yeah, I wanted to show you a little something I did here. When you go to Hidden co Objects I added a little Relentando here during the last two bars to so the piece doesn't end abruptly in high tempo but slows down like a real performance. I will let you hear this for a short moment. So it slows down a little bit, it's always nice. Okay, the only thing that is left now is to export it. So we go to File, Export, MIDI File. And from here you have a couple of options where you can choose from. You can choose your MIDI playback, your, your playback uh, device for, for all the things, for the sound libraries that you have installed. But I leave it for, to General MIDI. Um, I use always Type 1. I think Type 2 is an export. You get an export with all the states separately exported as a MIDI file or something, but uh, I leave it on Type 1. I leave Export Pickup Bars, a full bars padded with rest selected. And what it does is, in case you have a starting bar, the first bar, that has not a complete, uh, well, 3 quarter time in this case, because it's a 3 quarter bar meter. Uh, so say you have only one single uh, quarter note starting the first bar, that is an incomplete bar, a pickup bar. And when you keep this selected, it's really easy to add two rests and make so uh, and make it, make it uh, I will make a full three quarter bar. Ha. So with these things selected, let's click OK and we save it somewhere to the desktop. And we replace it because I did it already one time and now it's saved. So let's see. I have a lot of mess on my desktop, but let's see where the file went to. Here is this the last one. No, it's not. 27, yes, it is actually. So uh, this is the MIDI file that is exported, and let's see how it sounds like when you play it back. Look at the normal uh, quick time player. Of course, it's not a really professional uh, <laughs> sound, but it's a MIDI file. And with MIDI files, you can I import them in your DA, in your digital audio uh, workstation, and you can um, assign better sound libraries to it, and so it will sound much better then. There you go. That's it. So um, just now we finished uh, in Sibelius with the export and I I'm going to close Sibelius now and I want to show you actually quickly what you can do with this MIDI file in your DAW. So I'm going to op open the MIDI file in Logic Pro 10. Let's see where we, we left it on the desktop. This one and we open it in Logic. So let's see what we can do with it in Logic. This is the MIDI file that I exported in Sibelius just now and I'll import it in Logic 10. So first, uh, from here, this is, 
Let's see, I'm not, I, I'm not going to explain exactly how it works in logic because it's a completely different subject. But I'm going to import the assign some string instruments that I really love. And these are the spotlight strings from Kirk Hunter. So on the, the violin, I'm going to load uh, the, a viola of a, a violin section. And we go to the viola section and we load. see contact 5 stereo and we load the violas here ah there you go and now you will hear a difference with uh, the sound we had just now these are really I love these f f sounds so start from the beginning and have a short listen <laughs> solo for both sections for the violin and for the viola you can do whatever you want as long as you have the the midi file ready so this is how it sounds for the whole string <laughs> This, this string library has a lot of possibilities. I worked and played around a lot with uh, solo strings 1 and 2, and this is in fact solo strings 3, but uh, Kirk Hunter calls it calls it uh, spotlight strings, and it's a beautiful library. I can really uh, advise you to have a look at this. So, this was the little video for today. See you next time. <laughs>